Although a quick collection is a great way of organizing your images, it isn't very specific to the types of images the collection contains. Remember, our catalog has images of vacations, cars, weddings, and landscapes. We certainly need to create a more customized way of organizing each one of these into their respective categories. We don't want them all mixed together in a single folder. There's two ways we can do this. We'll start with the first method, which is to create a standard collection. Before we continue, we currently have two images selected, image 29 and 51. I'm just going to click off this selection by single clicking on any image in my preview area. The reason for this is just because we no longer need multiple images selected. To create a collection, we should first create a collection set. You can think of a collection set as our parent folder that will store our individual collections or subfolders. To create a collection set, first expand your collections panel because we'll be working with it. Now click the plus sign next to the collections heading. Next, click Create Collection Set. Give the collection a name. I'll just go ahead and call this My Studio Collection. If we wanted to place this collection set inside another collection set, we could do so by placing a check mark in this checkbox and specifying the collection set from this menu. Since we don't want to do this, I'll just go ahead and remove that check mark and click Create. You can see that the collection set has popped up in our collections panel, My Studio Collection. When I click on it, you'll notice that all our thumbnail previews have disappeared. Don't worry because this is expected. Lightroom has automatically placed us in the new collection set directory in our collections panel. Since the collection set is empty, we see no images in our current gallery area. Let's create a new collection set inside our studio collection set. We'll call this collection set My Vacations. You'll notice that since we right-clicked on an existing collection set, Lightroom automatically knows to create this collection set inside our current collection, which is My Studio Collection. Click the Create button to finalize. So there it is, My Vacations nested under our parent collection set, which is My Studio Collection. If you recall, our vacation photos consisted of images from Miami, Los Angeles, New York, and Washington. We'll need to create separate collection folders for each one of these vacation locations. To get started, right-click on My Vacations this time. So I'll just single-click on it first, and then I'll right-click on it. And this time, click on Create Collection. For the collection name, call the first one Miami. This will contain our vacation images from Miami. Make sure that this collection is being created inside the My Vacations collection set. You'll see why in just a moment. Go ahead and click Create. Now go ahead and create the additional collections for the remaining cities. So once again, I'll right click on My Vacations and Create Collection. This time I'll type in LA. Make sure this checkbox is clicked and My Vacations is selected from the menu. And for each of these, do not put a check mark in this last option here, Set is Target Collection. We'll explore that in just a moment. Go ahead and click Create, and do that once more, this time for New York, and the last one is for Washington. With all our collection folders created, let's return to all our photographs by clicking the All Photographs button in the Catalog panel. 